Now we're ready to put the pads back into the calipers. The pads I've chosen are the EBC yellows. These are a little bit more aggressive, but it's a big truck and I like to take it off-roading a lot. So that's why I chose these. So before we put in the pads, we're gonna take these shims and put them into each of the four pistons. And the wings go in first. Probably knew that, just gonna say it. Now all four shims are in. Now we're ready to install the pads. I always like to start with the one that has the wear indicator on it. And this one will always go on the inside. So we're gonna slide it in like this. There we go. And it won't stay there by itself. We'll have to finagle it a bit. And here is the other pad. It goes in. And before I actually was getting, or while I was getting ready to install these, I went ahead and cleaned all the pins and even added a thin layer of grease. That way they'll be able to slip in easily. So let's go ahead and put in the first pin. And it goes in right through there. And we'll have to finagle this guy a bit. There we go. So you can see that grease really helped. Okay, so you can stay there right now. Um, so before we do the bottom pin, we're actually going to go ahead and install this spring. Now this is super important. Um, you want to put the spring in the right way. So it's going to be the shape of a W, but I call these like the little knees. The knees are going to be pointing out. So this, I'm going to go ahead and go like that. So it's underneath and you'll see when the pin goes in, um, it'll go basically underneath the spring. So that's right. So let's go ahead and put in this spring. Move that guy back. There we go. There's one. Perfect. Okay, beautiful. Oops. Okay, and now we're going to turn the spring up and you'll see these little feet right here those are going to go into these holes. It's a little, and it turns out pliers were exactly what I needed. So, that pin back. So, if you grab it about here and kind of twist, there we go. That side went in easily. And then this one again, grab and twist back, and bam, right in the hole. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to put in the little pins up here, and we are good. Sometimes it's wearing gloves makes it feel a little bit awkward. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Good job. Okay. Um, now we're going to go ahead and hang the caliper back on the hook, and I'll show you how to put the rotor back on. So the rotor I chose to use on this is a Brembo Blank. I really like to use these guys because they paint the surface right here, and they paint on top, and this eliminates a lot of rust. Okay, I've put the rotor on and I've secured it using a nut down here. This is a really good trick. When you first put it on, it stays great flat against the backing plate up here, but the, the bottom has a tendency to kind of slide out and this sucks when you're trying to put on the calipers. So if you wanna use that little trick, go for it, it'll help. And another thing, um, we are going to clean off the surface with a little bit of brake cleaner. It's also a good idea to clean the back 
Um, I've already done this, so I'll just show you the front. Make sure you use a clean shop tool, or shop towel, sorry, because you don't want to get any contaminants on, on the surface or on the pads themselves. And also make sure your gloves are clean. Let's go ahead and clean. my gloves off too. Put those both aside and now we are ready to attach the calipers. Take it off the, the hook and again make sure that the pads are spread apart when placing it and it should, yes, slide right on. So that bolt is, that nut is definitely a lifesaver. So now we got it. Put these bolts back on, and these can be a little tricky too. So just take your time, and it should be able to eventually get in there. not easy so take your time Whew. perfect okay we're gonna change uh, camera angles and when we come back I'll show you more okay I've tightened both bolts back there to spec and now I'm gonna go ahead and install my wheel spacer. So this is actually aftermarket, not all trucks have them. And as per manufacturer specifications, I'm going to put a little bit of this Loctite on every single one of the studs. So let's get going. And it comes out fast, so be careful. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and put all the nuts in here and tighten them down. Okay, we're just about good to go. We'll get a different camera angle, and when we come back, I'll show you what's next. Now we're ready to torque these bolts to factory spec. 
It helps if you have a friend in the car to hold down the brake pedal because otherwise the rotor will spin freely. However, you can put something heavy on the brake pedal and that'll also accomplish the same thing. Let's get to torquing. And that click is exactly what we want to hear. There we go. So we're almost done. Now we're going to reconnect the brake line bracket to the knuckle and the ABS line to its bracket. Okay. Remember the ABS line just snaps right in. There we go. Perfect. Now all we need to do is mount the tire back on, bleed the brakes, and you are done. As always, thank you so much for subscribing and liking my videos and stay tuned till the next one.